Hurry up, man. I gotta go. Come on. Because uh. a good kitty. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. What's up, everybody? So today I'm doing a review on the City Kitty Toilet Trainer, which is basically a trainer for your cat to start using the toilet instead of his litter box. I have never had a cat before, so I never had to deal with litter growing up or anything. And so when I got my first cat, I was like, this is gross. I do not wanna deal with like litter everywhere and like cats stepping on their poo or pee and then walking all over the apartment. Um, so I was like, yeah, my cat definitely has to learn how to use the toilet. So I found this on Amazon. It was on Shark Tank, but um, it was $40 and I figured like, why not, it's $40, like what do I have to lose? If it works, great. If it doesn't, like I only wasted $40 on this. So to begin with, when it first comes in the mail, it comes like this. It is made out of plastic and it comes with two layers like so. I don't know why, maybe just to be more sturdy, but um, when you first get it, it doesn't have this hole in the center. It's completely covered with the plastic and there are little rings that are perforated and you cut them out as your cat gets more and more used to sitting on the toilet. So this is what the training litter looks like when it's on the toilet. And since I only have one bathroom, me and my cat share the toilet. So every time I have to go, I need to remove this um, and go and then put it back on when I'm done. So I just lift it. And as you can see, it's pretty much constantly messy like this. Even if you clean every day, it's still like a really messy process. And you just take this off. And I just put it on the floor. If you are going to be placing it on the floor, you have to be careful because your cat may need to go to the restroom at the exact same time that you placed it on the floor. And he or she is just gonna go. And then if he pees, the pee is gonna go through the hole and all over your floor. It's happened to me before and it is very annoying to clean. So just heads up. And when I do that, it usually leaves some litter on my floor. So I leave this in the bathroom as my Swiffer. And I just Swiff the excess litter to the corner of my bathroom. And then I'll pick that up like, I'll pick it up like every two to three days. Another thing that I really didn't like about this was, I know that it's perforated, but it was so hard to cut these levels out um, and another thing is that it's plastic so it kind of like tears really easy and you don't want to tear into the next little level or else like it's going to be less sturdy and you don't want your cat to fall into the toilet obviously um so that was like a struggle every time to cut it i literally like you you can't push it out or really use the scissors like i had to like dab at it and make the holes bigger and then be able to like cut through it. So that is a process um, and again, it's very messy. When you feel like your cat is ready to move on to the next stage and you wanna cut a ring out on your litter trainer, this is how I usually do it. Grab a pair of scissors. So first you're going to want to take all this litter out. All right, and this is already perforated, but it is still really difficult to just push it out with your fingers. So I'll get a sharp scissor and I kind of try and punch out the holes until I could finally push the whole ring out. Pretty gross process. You want to 
sprinkle that back on. Another thing that I didn't like about this was when your cat goes to the bathroom, he doesn't necessarily go inside the hole every time, you know, your cat like doesn't really know why there's a hole there yet. So he's still just kind of like going wherever on here. Um, it's very difficult to clean the pee and the poop when it is like stuck in between these little levels. Um, when you have a litter box, you pretty much can just like scoop it out. Like there's nothing in your way, but with this, there's like little ridges and um, the pee and poop, it just kind of gets like stuck in between the cracks. And so it is like messy and annoying to clean that up. Um, and also when your cat kicks, he will kick the litter inside of your toilet. So um, you have to have good plumbing or else your toilet's gonna get clogged. It has happened to me, I had to go get um, a plunger from Home Depot when my toilet got clogged. Uh, so it's just things to keep in mind that you're gonna be going through during this process that may take up to three months. Scoop where he went and I just scoop it into the toilet. Uh, if you don't have good plumbing, you can also just scoop it into a plastic bag and dispose of it in the trash can. One thing that I really hated about this was that you still have to put litter on it and the great thing about a litter box is that when your cat kicks, um, all the litter is contained inside of the box if you have like a closed box. Um, with this, your cat is still kicking the litter everywhere but it's now going everywhere in the bathroom. So you constantly have to clean the bathroom literally like every time your cat goes so if your cat's going like four times five times a day that's four times you have to clean the bathroom so it's just a very messy process you just have to like be patient with it and um know that you know in a few months it'll all be worth it hopefully it will for you for me it wasn't <laughs> but um yeah So on the instruction guide, it says that it should take about a month for your cat to learn, which I initially was skeptical of because that seems pretty fast for a cat who's like used to naturally using a litter box to just move over to a toilet. So I went and gave my cat extra time on each level. I gave my cat two to three weeks on each step um, prior to moving him up. Um, even though on the instructions it says you only need one week per level. So I spent about three months training my cat on this and um, at first it was going great. He was, he didn't have any trouble like on any of the levels. Um, I just wanted to take more time just to like really make sure that he got it. And then we were on the last level, which is this one, when my cat decided that he was over it. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden he started shitting in my hamper, on the couch, on the floor, just everywhere except for the toilet, which he has been using for the past three months. So it was very frustrating because um, we spent so much time on it and it is a messy process and not to mention annoying if you have only one bathroom where you live and you and your cat have to share the bathroom you constantly have to take this off the toilet and put it back on every time you go um not to mention litter gets everywhere in the bathroom so i was like really disappointed when we got to the very end and my cat was just like you know what no I don't know what it was. I don't know if he just he just didn't like it. He was over it. Good job, kitty. So it began to smell like shit. And so I looked at my hamper and sure enough, there it is. 
So I definitely think that it's worth a shot for everyone to try it on their cats. I think ultimately it's gonna be up to your cat whether he wants to use it and he likes it or he just, you know, he doesn't like it and he wants to go back to his litter box. So, um, I mean, I followed all the steps. I took ample amount of time on every step. So I really felt like I did the most I could. Um, I could have kept going and just continued to like push him, but I, I would have had to probably buy a new one because I had already cut out all the holes. And once you cut the hole out, you can't go back a step. So, um, I mean, I could have started over again and tried, but I just figured that maybe I was torturing him. He seemed very like determined to not go into the toilet anymore. So I was like, all right, I'm not gonna force you anymore. I tried the best I could. Um, yeah, so that's my review. 